Hi, my name is Eric, and uh, I've been working with Business Central for more than 30 years. It might not have been called Business Central all that time, but uh, it's the same product. Um, up until a few years ago, uh, all customers who got Business Central were deployed on premises. And, you know, you bought the system from a Business Central partner and your deployment was planned and controlled and you had had your scheduled training, you had an onboarding procedure and, and everything was managed. Um, now that Business Central is, is on the cloud, everything has changed. Um, lots of you already have Business Central, even though you might not actively have chosen it. Just by having a Office 365 subscription, you actually have a at least a trial version of Business Central that you can go and use right now. Um, and that kind of introduces a new challenge to us in the channel, all the, the original partners, because now a customer can just go and start using this. They can buy the license from wherever they get their Microsoft licenses and uh, they can start using it without um, without the guidance, without the, uh, the control process that the product always had been deployed through. Um, and um, when, when, you, when you go venturing out uh, in, in, into the unknown, uh, it's a proper procedure to bring a guide of some sort. Uh, you want to identify what you can eat, what you can't eat, you, what will eat you and what you can eat and stuff like that. Uh, and um, that's kind of the, uh, the, the premise of, of this book. Um, I, I looked at how customers were adopting Business Central. I looked at the, all the questions we received um, and, and at the same time, I was, I was approached by a uh, well-known publisher uh, about writing a development book about Business Central. Um, but after looking at that, I thought there's plenty of development, development books out there. Uh, but what we were lacking, what I think there was a need for, was exactly a book that could help people when they venture out and start uh, working with Business Central, either with a traditional partner or perhaps without a partner at all. Um, so I started writing, uh, both writing, 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 but also just, you know, noting down whenever we got questions from customers and so on. Um, but very quickly, I realized that doing this as a normal, normal book, uh, that, that's kind of hard because the software is what the, the, the technical term is now software as a service. And software as a service means that the software is just being updated and delivered uh, uh, continuously. Um, but a book is kind of a static thing. You write it, you publish it, you forget about it. Um, so, so I needed to rethink my approach, and um, that actually led me to a company called LeanPub. Um, LeanPub is a, is a online publisher that kind of specializes in publishing books um, that are in progress, meaning that that you can start selling your book before it's finished which is not exactly the approach that I wanted, but I wanted to be able to rework my book and still have people who have access to it. And the way it works is that if you buy the book on LeanPub, uh, you can download it. And if I update the book one, one month later or six months later when Microsoft is coming out with a new major version, you just go back, you download it again, you purchased it, you download it again. Um, and the field guide was published, the book was published the first time on version 14. Uh, and the latest version of the book now covers version 17 and has covered all the versions in between. So that's, that's the ebook. Um, the, the book is also available on Amazon and, um, that's a non-updating book, unfortunately, because you buy 
a, a, a paper copy and that's the version that's available at that time. As soon as I update the book, the book Amazon prints on demand is also updated. So, so you will always get the newest book if you buy that on Amazon. Um, I promise to tell that the uh, the photo on, on the front page uh, is actually from uh, British Columbia, Columbia, where I live in Canada, and uh, it was it was a photo taken on one of our summer adventures where, where we went out in the back country of uh, British Columbia and explored. So uh, I thought that was a very appropriate photo to use for a book like this. Quickly, the uh, what the book covers um, is that. There's a, a, it starts by covering all the stuff that goes on before you actually get to Business Central, how to sign up, how to, what accounts to use and stuff like that. Um, then it covers the, the getting started, how to access it, how to set up your environments and, and, and kind of get to the system. Uh, the next section covers the, the process of setting up the first company. So in Business Central, uh, you can have multiple companies if you're running multiple legal entities and stuff like that. So how to set up you know, the first company and what areas to consider and work with. Um, then we got a couple of chapters on covering, you know, examples of daily operation, examples of uh, periodic operations. We're not trying to cover everything. Not not that's not the intent. The intent is that that we will guide you to how a certain task is, is approach. And if you kind of had that in, in mind, the way the Business Central is put together is that everything has the same approach. It's just you search for something else or you do something else, but it sounds kind of the same process. Um, books also The book also covers certain advanced features. Um, and then the book covers, uh, the last part of the book covers how to do integrations. Um, because we're not living in an in, in isolated world anymore. So how to integrate to other systems. And one of the big thing in, in Business Central is the way how to do customizations and what you, sh you as a customer, how you should approach handling and, 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 and working with customizations. Um, and lots of the topics here, most of the topics are directly consequences of me talking with uh, my customers talking with uh, fellow MVPs on Twitter and, and all those. Uh, and and quite often what happens is that I get a great question from somebody answering, so, huh, let's just put in those four lines of, uh, for, of text into the book because that's a great topic and, and we want to cover it. Um, so that's the that's the premise of the field guide so a ever updating updating book uh, and i hope that this book will help you on your adventure and uh, i'd love to hear from you you know twitter linkedin all the the usual channels uh, let it, let us know where the book helped or let us know what topics you would love to have in the book because the focus of what I put in the book is directly input from uh, from the readers, and uh, I would love to hear from you. Anyway, happy reading and have a wonderful adventure with Business Central.